Okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue working on this space shooter game. Right now, the current setup that we have is we have a space shooter character, a little spaceship moving left and right, and we're able to drag it left and right. And we're not able to move it up and down, but we still have lots of things that we need to do, so let's go ahead and get underway. You know, one thing that I'm seeing right away is that the character looks a little bit too big. You can see that the character is just a little bit too big on the screen. It's just taking up a little bit too much space. And sometimes that can be fine depending on your type of gameplay, but for something like this where you're avoiding obstacles and you're going to be avoiding asteroids and little alien enemies and things like that, you want to have your character pretty darn small. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my character in my scene and I'm going to go over here to the top right and I'm going to scale it from 1 to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Okay, so the character is quite a bit smaller. I might have even gone a little bit too far, but I'm going to go ahead and shift him down here just a little bit and then let's take a look at this now. Okay, so I'm going to shift this up right about here and now let's test it out. Okay, that's better. I still think that we could go a little bit higher, so I'm going to move the character up just a little bit more. Okay, now let's check that out. Okay, I like that. So the next thing I want to do is I like the drag option left and right, but what I would like to do is set it up so that you tap the left side of the screen to go left and you tap the right side of the screen to go right. So I'm going to go over here into my upper left hand corner. I'm going to click on my mind map. I'm going to click on my world UI. And you can see right here that this handles the drag motion, so you're able to drag left and right. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and just delete this. And then I'm going to go over here to my top left, and I'm going to click on characters, and I'm going to drag in two character buttons. Those are my two character buttons. Now I'm going to go ahead and stretch this out to right about there, maybe a little bit more, widen this out a little bit. I'm going to go to the halfway point in the screen. So that's roughly around six and a half squares across is the halfway point, roughly. And I'm gonna name this character button left. Next, I'm going to change the function from no action to move left. And even though it says that it's unassigned on the keyboard, I can just hit the left and right keys on my keyboard and it will work as well. So I'm going to click on my other button here that I made. I'm gonna stretch this out as well and widen it a little bit, great, okay. And then I'm gonna to try to align it right down the middle with the other button. I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the other button. I'm gonna go up to the top right and I'm gonna change the name, but this time it's not gonna be left, it's gonna be the right. And I'm going to change the function from no action to move right. Okay, awesome. Now the next thing that we need to do, we need to go up to our mind map again, click on our world, and then I'm going to click on my characters menu here and click on my character. This is going to open up the menu over here on the right and I'm going to put in a move animation and the move animation that I'm going to use is a rotation. So it's going to make the spaceship look like it's spinning. Okay great, now let's take a look and see what that looks like. Okay, I like this. I like the little spinning action. So I'm going to exit out of my preview Okay, so two things that I'm noticing that I'd like to get fixed is I don't like how the ship is able to go all the way to the left where the ship is off the screen. And I also don't like the touch to move instructions label showing up in the front. I feel like we could do better with that. And just in case you don't know what I mean, I'm just gonna press play real quick so you can see. So when I see the touch to move right there at the bottom, yeah, I wanna switch that up. And then the other thing I wanna do is I don't like it how the ship is able to go off of the game screen and you can only see like half the ship and a wing coming off the edge. So I'm gonna fix that right now as well. So I'm gonna exit out of my preview and first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this top node right here and I'm gonna bring this in just a little bit and I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side so that it makes the game frame a little bit smaller so that the ship is not able to fly off the side of the screen. So I'm gonna press play again and see if that works. Okay, okay, so that's better. You know, I'm almost, I'm almost happy with that. I think I could maybe go in just a little bit more. But the other thing is I don't want to restrict the game frame too much either. You know what? I can live with this. I can live with this. It's not like I'm losing half the ship and only like a little, little tiny bit of the wing is cut off and 
for the most part, that's good because you also want to give plenty of room to like dodge. If you want to like, if the player wants to go far left and dodge some asteroids or some aliens or something like that, you should they should be able to do that. And so you don't want to restrict the game frame too much, but you definitely want to still be able to see the ship throughout the game. So, anyways, that's fixed. So I'm going to exit out of this, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the top left. I'm going to go to my mind map. And then I'm going to go back to my world UI. And you can see right here the touch to move label. And I'm actually going to hit command and then the bracket up, the um, right side bracket, to shift it up and down. I'm going to shift it to the top so that it's real easy for me to click it and really easy for me to move it around and stuff. Because if I try to click it and it's underneath the right and left buttons, then that's going to mess with the right and left buttons and I don't want to do that. In fact, I think I'm going to go up here to the top left and just lock those up right now so I don't have to deal with that. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this touch to move thing or just change it. Uh, first off, I don't like the font. It's just a template uh, font, so it's not supposed to be super amazing. But I want to go ahead and switch that up right now. So first off, the thing I want to do is I want to change the text to say tap sides to move. You want to go with something short and sweet. And I was considering, I was considering going um, and putting something like tap left side to go left or tap right side to go right and putting those up on both sides. Honestly, that just is too much. You wanna keep the instructions as simple and as simplified as you can. So right now, I think tap sides to move is good and I might even shorten the auto hide to about 0.3 or something like that because it really doesn't take that much time to read that and it's really simple short instructions and it's pretty intuitive. Once you start playing, you really never wanna see those instructions again and I'm also going to click stick to edge right here right now I'm using the default font but I'd like to add in and create my own font for this so I'm gonna go up to the upper right hand corner and I'm gonna click on the font builder button and it's got a capital A and a lowercase a just in case you can't see that so this is gonna open up the font builder window here in the middle I'm gonna go down to the bottom left and I'm gonna click on add I'm going to rename this untitled font to space font and I'm gonna change the space font to Avenir real quick. Um, I think that's a pretty good font. There's lots and lots of different fonts that you can work with here on this list. You can scroll down here and you can see them all. So definitely check all these out on your own time and, and you can figure out which one that you feel works best. But for right now, I'm just gonna go with Avenir. And then I'm gonna go ahead and change the colors as well. So I really like the gradient thing, but I wanna make the gradient colors be a little bit different. So usually the bottom gradient is really, it's better to go with a darker color. And then with the main color, you can go a little bit lighter. And this is totally an opinion, but I noticed that a lot of gradients seem to fade from light to dark. So I feel like this is pretty good. I think it's, I think it's fine. And you know, another cool thing that you can see here is you can also add a stroke and you can add a shadow. So you can add some depth and make it kind of look a little bit 3D and stuff to have a little bit of shadow. I'm not going to add a stroke or a shadow. I'm just gonna leave it as just the gradient. And then I'm going to click exit out of this. Okay, great. So now I'm going to change my font type from default font to space font over here on the right. And I think that that's gonna be a little bit better. So I'm going to also slide this down just a little bit so that it's on the very bottom of the screen so that it's not covering the character too much or getting in the way. Okay, great, so let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm gonna press play right now. I'm gonna press start. And okay, I think that looks good. I think that's much better than what we had before. I'm gonna go ahead and restart this real quick so I can see it again. You know what, I think I might actually move it down just a little bit more. So let's see. The only problem is, is when you're moving things down here this close to the bottom, you have to remember that you might be adding a banner ad later on. So if you watch my HeyZap video and you look and see how you put banner advertisements onto your game so that you can make a little bit of money off of advertisements and monetize your game, you have to consider that when you're moving things to the bottom of your game screen, that might affect the banner ad. That might go underneath the banner ad. And so you want to make sure that you're not doing that. So right now, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and press play and it's gonna be, and it's not covering up the spaceship. So I think that works for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of this now and I think that's good. 
Okay, great. So I'm gonna do one last thing here before I finish off. So I'm gonna switch out the pause button image with another image that's a little bit more harmonious with the current artwork style. So I'm going to drag it in over here into the image box. And I think that that's a little bit better. I'm also going to maybe move this up just a little bit more to the corner so it's kind of out of the way. Because you have to consider that all of these objects and all these little things that are, are going to be coming from the top. So we don't want to cover that up too, too much. So I'm also going to make sure that it's stick to edge so that's gonna work on all different iPhone styles and all different phone sizes and on iPads and everything. So, okay, so let's take a look at what we've got so far. So we've got a basic game, we've got a little spaceship moving left and right, we've got the rolling animation, we've got that moving left and right action, we fixed the instructions label at the bottom, and we switched out for a better pause button. Now I'm gonna end it here today, but in the next video we're gonna add a bunch of really fun stuff. We're gonna add a points label, I'm gonna show you how to collect points, we're gonna add some, some coins, we're going to do some enemies and asteroids and things like that. So next video, make sure you stay Stay tuned because we're going to keep building this thing up throughout this week. Like and subscribe.